to I think this could be one of the best saves we do. Why is that? Every time I look at doing this save, I get more and more excited about doing it. I feel like this is a kind of that that when we do, or if we do, or hopefully we do, get back to the big time, we can really go for it. And I'm so excited to be able to say, welcome to episode one of Rebuilding Giants Deportivo a La Coruña, the special series. Right, here we are. We are here. This is, this is getting straight into this. Right. So, I'm currently the 10th of July, 2023. Um, that's when we are on here. Um, I'm going to show you what I've done so far. Uh, we're nowhere near a game. Um, we're going to try and do stuff. Um, I'm going to go through everything. We're going to go and have a look at stuff. We're going to go do a deep dive now. Um, and then at the end of this episode, we're going to play the first game of the season. Um, and we're going to go with it from there. So, let's have a look. So, at the moment, we are well overspending on the wage budget. So, we're going to have to, um, I think that's committed, so that all the players that are going to come in, that's going to bring the wage budget well over. So, we're going to have to sort that out. Club Vision. We've got, this season, we've got to gain automatic promotion to the second division. Right? That is the aim of what we have to do. And that's what we're going to be aiming to do in this save. The supporters... Um, they want us to be competitive against Vigo if we play against them and gain automatic promotion. Here are all the legends of the st of of the club that have played here or been around here. I'm going to see if I can get um, some of them to come back in a coaching. One Carlos Vara, what was he unemployed? Oh, poor guy, he's not great stats though. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what I can do. Um, so transfers. As you can see, I've literally just started, opened the save, uh, and done it. So here are all the players coming in. Fucking load of players, isn't there? Jesus. So I'm going to have to go through them one by one. Um, just to see if we really do need them. Because... The ages of the players really worry me. But we will see. I'm going to go through it all and do it all. Players leaving. we got youngsters going out alone. Um, a couple going on a free. So we're just going to deal with that when we get to that as well. Um, schedule. First game of the Segunda Division A. I have changed the names of the leagues personally. Um, I've gone through them. I've made sure I've got it right. Um, so I've gone through it and done it. So we've got the Segunda Division A, uh, Segunda Division B. Um, then we've got the Segunda Division and then we've got La Liga. Um, as I've said before, we will not have the logos or anything for it for a little while. Um, I do apologize. I thought I fixed it. I thought I got it right and it's not doing it. Um, so we're just going to have to deal with this at the moment, which I'm fine with. Um, I just want to make sure that we can get the save going and doing it well before we do all of that. So the first game of the season will be at home against Barcelona B, um, which will be interesting. I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, staff, we have none. I have got rid of everybody. Um, the only person we've got in here is me. Um, that, that is it. Uh, I want a fresh start. I want everyone gone. I want us to to do everything what we want to do and we're going to set this club up for not only now but also for the future um so the dynamics fuck me i've had that we had that in the red and save it's fine we'll deal with that um club atmosphere is average team cohesion is it is poor but we will sort that out the hierarchy 20 players oppose me uh, all right this could be fun um here is the squad a couple of eight quite a few 18 19 22 year olds 21 20 i like that um 
Lucas Perez is here, former West Ham player, an Arsenal. Lucas Perez, is that? Right, I'm Googling this because... Um, is it the player who I think it is? Because the name rings a bell. Lucas Perez. It is! I know this player. If you're watching this for the first time and you don't know who that is, I'm going to bring it to the camera as much as I can. But that is him. Lucas Perez. Okay. He could be starting, most probably. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think of if there's players here who I know um, or heard of before. So, Lucas Perez. I've heard of him um, when I was doing my research and stuff of this. And uh, his name, he started up at Deportivo in 2002. He never played a game, played for the B team. This is amazing. Loaned out, loaned out, free, free, free. He has, no one's ever paid for him. And he's been the first choice goalkeeper for the last two seasons coming into the third. Um, so that could be interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to have a good look into this. And see what there is and what we can do. Um, as I've said, the um, club vision this season is to gain automatic promotion. Then my contract runs out. And then next season, when we get up in the Segunda Division, where they want us to finish top half um, in that league in, in that time as well. So I don't know what tactics I'm going for um, just yet. I'm going to have a look at the team. Screaming five at the back for me at this precise moment. Um, maybe a five three two. I don't know. I'm gonna have a look into it. We've got a lot of players that are wanted, a lot of loans. So I'll look into them and see: do we really want to loan them out? Um, whether we want to keep it. But Lucas Perez, that is madness. Former Arsenal and West Ham player. Has he got association with Deportivo before then? So he went through with Tesco and he went on loan to Deportivo. Oh, okay. So he went on loan to them. Got 21 goals, uh, six goals in 21 appearances. And then was in La Liga with them um, in 2015. After the Brum and after a year of being with um, La Carunia. Um, he got 17 goals in 36 appearances, sold for 17 million, never played, went back on loan to them, and then sold to West Ham, went to Alvarez, paid some money for him. All right. We will see what we do with him. I'm just, that, that has really fascinated me, um, about that. You've never played for La Coruña. You've just joined. All right. But yeah, I'm going to go and have a look at all of this. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're now going to skip, where it's just going to be with you, a sort of transition into the first game of the season, where hopefully most of the transfers will be done. I'm feeling that some of them will not be. Um, we've got one here in December. One in... De that's out. Fuck off. Midway through August, 1st of December, 39 years old. Why do we need a 39-year-old? Why would anyone want a 39-year-old? Can we stop it? Can I... St I can cancel some of these transfers. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. There's some of these that we do not need, and it worries me what Deportivo have done. So I'm going to cancel some of these. Um... And really look into whether we really do need them or not and go through everything because this is very worrying. Right. But yes, so the main aim also with this as well, with the finances, the income this season 
We're going to have over two and a half million worth of sponsors, two, nearly three million worth of season tickets. And remember, we need to make at least over £215,000 a month um, to pay off this loan. And this loan does not fuck off for another nine years. Um, so hopefully we don't have to worry about it at some point. Hopefully we can grow the reputation, get more stuff in. Um, but at this precise moment, it's predicting we're going to end the season over two million in it. Um, the turnover ten expenditure plus thirteen million, uh, total wages, transfer budget, and it's going to go down straight after. That's going up expenditure and then down again. So these are projections. We have to make sure that we can keep this all positive and keep this club afloat going forward. Another thing that I wanted to look at as well, if we go all, and um, we've got two directors, Alex Budaganganos and David Velasquez. So, yeah, I'm going to go do all of the staff, all of the tactics, everything. And then when we come back, I'm going to cancel some of these transfers as well because they worry me um, when they're coming and the ages and everything about them. So I will all get, sort all of that out. So we're now going to transition to the first game of the season and then i will run through everything i've done right we are back and i have to say this has been the most nervous um situation i've put myself in in, in this channel um i want to do an, an amazing job for the deportivo de Carina fans if you guys are watching um i haven't ventured outside of something that i um have been comfortable in doing before so doing this has really sort of taken me out because if, if i did this in private in my home state then i would be fine with it because i could just get on with it but i want to make sure that the people that are watching um have fun but not only that see what i'm trying to do to try and help push them forward but let's see what we can do here right a lot's happened. So it has been about three hours since I last did the recording. And so much has happened. Let's go through it. We're now up into nearly 8 million. We're going to make a profit this year. Wage budget has been cut all the way down. Haven't spent a penny. Here has been the schedule. I lost a few times, but it doesn't really matter. Um, happy with how things have gone. We've changed the formation a couple of times. Um, I went online and looked at how other people have been doing saves and how they've been going about and picking things off here and there. Um, because tactics are like literally my worst thing. I can do a tactic. Um, there's one thing that I do need to improve myself on Football Manager is creating my own tactics and going with them. Signing players, on the other hand, I'm, I think I'm good at. I like to think I'm good at that. Um, but before we get into it all, no one's played anything. Season preview. We're predicted to finish top by a, quite a long margin. Um, that's how they think we're going to go. And that's how I think we should go. Um, you'll see some of the players in and out, um, all that type of thing. But, yeah. So, let's go through the transfers. All of these players will be going. One player's coming in that was already scheduled to come in. I kept that. I cancelled a lot of them. Um, normally, the players that are 25 and over, um, I cancelled. So, the players who have gone on a freeze, these these players, uh, Pablo uh, Martinez wanted to leave. He didn't want to be here anymore and wanted to explore the end of his contract um, and I wanted money for him. So, we sold him. Uh, he was already going to Barcelona. Uh, Jamie Sanchez, um, he wanted to leave as well. He didn't want to be here anymore. So, I went, okay, if you don't want to be here anymore, he's gone to Saudi. Um, and w we accepted that and let him go uh, on top of that as well. A couple of loan players going out as well. So we've had a few free transfers come in uh, and a couple of loanies 
um, that have come in as well. So let's go off. Let's go by date, shall we? So the first one that came in was Matty Castillo. Um, I don't think that was for me. For me, that was from w what was happening in real life. Uh, and this was from me. One Familia Castillo, uh, Dutch player with a name like that. Yeah. Uh, he is playing left back. Uh, he will be playing left back in our position. Great pace. Uh, marking a little bit poor, passing okay, just everything we needed for the time being. And then we've got Fermin from Barcelona, um, midfielder who will be playing in this midfield role. Um, great attributes all over. He's going to get a lot of game time for us as well, so I thought that would be good as well. This was another player that I didn't pick um, that come in uh, that's gone to the under 18s. Uh, we then this is another player. We as we sold a couple of defenders. I wanted to bring in a defender, and the money budget we've got isn't great. So I brought in Eduardo Quesma, um, for Sporting Lisbon on loan for the season. He is going to be a player that is going to be pivotal to what we do. If you're a FIFA player, you know he is like a wonder kid on that game as well. And then a defensive midfielder I brought in as well, Johan Lepanente. Lepanant, lep, 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 lep. I'm not even going to be able to. Lep. Literally, that's all I'm going to call him is Lep, because I'm not going to be able to pronounce that whole name. Uh, so Lep has come in as a defensive midfielder role, So which means the tactic will be this. 4-3-3. Right, as you can see, it is a bit all over the place. Um, I went online and someone said that this was one of the best tactics they used, gave examples, um, and doing it. I do have a Reading FC save, and this is the, the, say, the formation I'm using for that, but I don't want to use that. I want to use my own tactic um, in here and do what we need to do in here as well. Um, Um, but yeah, here's the whole team. A lot of under 18 and 19, 20 year olds uh, that have got potential to be absolutely wonderful for us. Um, that is the hope. That is the prey that we're going to get. Um, I want to insert a column. I don't know how to do it. Transfer. Hmm. Nope. I don't know how to do it. I want to know like the transfer value. There it is. So we've got a few wonder kids here. This is exactly what I want to see. So as you can see here, we can make money off some of the players that I know these ones here make money off the 27, 18 year old, the 20 year old, and then Lucas Perez, who's interested by a number of clubs, but all American. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm going to sell him or get rid of him at any point uh, because We need him. It's as simple and as easy as that. We need him for this season. Um, I feel like he is going to be the one that does take us to the next level. So we're going to keep him for the time being. But let's stop dilly-dallying around and let's get into the first game. Playing FC Barcelona B team. So, midfield. That will do. Right. Yeah, happy with that. Let's go. Oh, no, I can't because he's on the fucking bench. Jesus Christ, I can't. Just leave that as a gap for the time being. But yeah, this is the formation we're going to go for. We're going to see if it works. It worked quite well over pre-season. Um, why can't I add numbers? He's not playing. Alright. Don't know what I'm doing here. You only lined up for 24 numbers. Oh, he's playing. He's there, 19, go, no, no, 16. I don't know what went on there. Let's just go with it. I don't understand your number system. 
It makes no sense. You should have as many numbers as you want. Right. Here we go. Do we know any other players? Right. First time looking at the Deportivo La Coruña Stadium before we go into 2D, because we will be. We're just going to have a quick look at it. That is a fuck-off stadium to be in, in the Sunguda Division A, the third division in Spanish football. Right, before we get into it, we are going to go 2D Classic. Key highlights. And then behind the goal. Yep, that's fine. Right. Let's get into it. Alright, we're dominating possession so far, which is great to see. What I like to see and what I think we should be doing. Having a few shots. Making sure I've got all the settings okay for the game. Let's go. Nothing is happening. I've pressed them all back. And I've pissed everyone off. Here we go. First highlight of the game. Oh my god, that highlight is quick. Jesus Christ, slow the fuck down. Here we go. Absolutely. Foul. Through to Lucas. Lucas Perez has got the very foul. No, he hasn't. Of course he hasn't. I got really excited then. Oh dear. They're already injured. They're left back. We're already giving someone's getting tired already. That's not great. Right. That literally did fuck all. Oh, I'm making everyone nervous. Okay. Leave it alone, Mark. What the fuck am I doing? Hmm. Let's go plan B. I don't want this to work. Which is a manly situation to say on its own, but at the same time, we need anything to happen at this point. That's fine. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Of course. I don't know what to do. This is the issue now. We've had not one shot this second half. Like, nothing is being done. And I know that... See, I don't really... Let's get this down. I haven't really managed abroad before in a football manager. So I've done it a couple of times. Um, but nothing special. And so for me, I'm trying to think if I have to adapt to where we are. Lucas Perez. Oh my God, he's got a winner in the 90th minute. Lucas Perez with an absolute fucking screamer of a free kick. The keeper had no chance. And in the 90th minute, we're able to pick up a goal. 
and hopefully come away with the three points. And we have. We have come away with the three points. Told you, he is going to be someone that is going to save our ass this year. And we go top. Not for long, though. But we will be back very, very soon um, for the next fixture. We're not going to go too far ahead. He's up for three weeks. Marvellous. So, the next game we're going to come back for. I'm trying to think of teams that could be fun. Let's come back for these two games. Because I don't know any, anyone's ability in here so far. So, uh, Leon Ezdala. And then Union Estatas. We will come back for both of those games and see where we are and what we're doing. Uh, and then see where, where we're going from there and see how this tactic goes up until then as well. So we're only going to play a couple of games is the next, like, next time I see you. So with that, my name's been Mark. You guys have been fantastic. Welcome to my Deportivo La Coruña say. And... <laughs>